Brelly, you got that? It, it's been live <laughs> since, oh since, since we walked in the room. Hi, guys. We're hey, back. Did you miss these we voices? Back. Ow. They missed this voice for sure. It's Terry Lynn Monroe. And it's your boy King Dash in the building. And Key. And we are Mars, Mars versus, versus Venus, Venus the, the podcast. podcast. I missed y'all so much. Yes, sir. We do have our infamous guest. Infamous. Infamous. I like Our that. brothers. My baby daddy, but he love white women. <laughs> Y'all know this. Cut, what's the time on that? <laughs> Minute three? Can't <laughs> yeah. even make it in a whole episode. Y'all oh, get man. it? You won, DJ? Who won? DJ always says under. He always won. Okay. <laughs> what's the deal, people? What's happening in Houston? It's the judge himself at MJ owns on all social media. Letting uh, Sitting in with the Mars vs. Venus pod. Welcoming them to their inaugural on Mute Podcast Network episode. Mm-hmm. Welcome to the family. Welcome home. Hey. Yes. Y'all, y'all knew y'all. it was going to happen. Glad to be here. Yeah. Under, happy happy to under be the here. umbrella. You know, we staying fresh. We, we, we ain't worried about the drip out there. You know what I'm saying? So it's all good. You know? Season three. Yes. yes. Season three. Season three. Episode one, but also episode 55. We should. We were saying this on the way here. We should really be in the 200s by now, but we took a break. An extended break. An extended. Got it was that. not supposed to be that long, you guys. Hey, life comes at you fast. Rona hit. Yeah. They have kids. You know, a I'm single. Still, a year later, <laughs> still don't have a man. A couple of times we was about to get back in the studio. So Some, yeah. Something happened. Rona. Rona. Then something else happened. Atlanta. Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. Yuri. Yeah. We were really supposed to be back last week. Yeah. yeah. Yuri happened. Yeah. Texas got froze. Well, Houston. We were supposed well, no, to be back before that, too. Over. Yeah, you were supposed to be back before that, though. Yeah. Because really was booked. He ain't had no space. Yeah, really. Mathis called you a hairstylist. I just want you to know. Because <laughs> <laughs> I said you were booked. You're busy. It's hard to get this man, okay? You talk so much. <laughs> you just love just running your mouth. I ain't just spilling all the beans really. anyway. all. I just want you to know. You talk so okay, much. Okay, I'm not going to say nothing else tonight, love. I'm sorry. <laughs> ah, damn. But, yeah, it's been a lot going on. Uh, what's, what's, couple what's, trips. What's been going on? We, we... <sighs> We did. We have not sat down. We have not. Fast asses, all of We've been Rona hit and we was like, okay, we still getting the fuck. Man, we so cool. right, right before Rona hit, we was in Vegas. No, right we when in, Rona got yeah. serious, got we serious, was in, we Vegas. Was in Vegas. I honest, I want to tell y'all the truth. God forgive me. I think I called Rona in Vegas because when I came back, so I you had, had it a twice. High ass fi- yes, I had it twice, possibly. <laughs> but see, we didn't know what it was. But I just had a high ass fever. I could still smell and taste in February. But when I got that shit in December, oh my God. I would never play with her again. Not ever. She's real, guys. She's real. And I like to eat. So you can't smell or eat your food for a fucking week. I cannot imagine it. Oh my I God. I could kind of taste it, but it was still kind of like bland. But because I couldn't smell it, I'm like, I don't want that shit. All I wanted was fruit, you lost water. A couple pounds. And I gained it right the fuck back. <laughs> it's back. It's here. I didn't ate everything. Okay. Yeah. I had to. I was like, fuck. I've been missing out on this, this, this. I went to the taco stand at least like three times the same week. <laughs> had like four bowls. Oh, my God. <laughs> By yourself. So good. Extra corn. <laughs> oh, it was good. Yeah. But what's been up with the married couple during this past year? Nothing. Nothing. Not Keeping the kids safe. The children, yeah. Mm-hmm. Y'all send them back to school or are they doing online school? They in school. They in school, bro. Yeah. Y'all real. Yes. <laughs> You know what? They I shouldn't school, even ask They're you. They're brave. I remember, I remember your mama. You don't, they, your kid's going to school. Oh, if yeah. it's open, y'all going. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot. It's, it's kind of like, we don't have a choice. Like, yeah. you know, it's that uh, virtual learning. They did it's like a... Birds. Yeah, yeah, they I did can. like a test run like a couple weeks before school started. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I work from home. And I was at home with them. So I'm like... And we got a kindergarten, bro. So she needs yeah. somebody at the she computer. Need, yeah. She needs right. somebody at the computer the with her. The kids are uh, good. They know how to work computers and stuff. But, but the then they can't stop and help her. Yeah, like, exactly. they got to do their own shit. But Thanks. now she a pro. Yeah. She's Lolo a pro now, but... Yeah, they had to go back. But I know all of them... Um, Kay, even Erin, Kaylee, they only have like five students in their classroom. 
I so most of the students in they in they schools are virtual. So. Right. That's not bad. Of course, that make us feel better, but you know, we ain't got no choice. They, they spread got to go. all the, across the classes and everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They keep mm-hmm. their masks going all day, or they, they the hard heads. Yeah. They got to. Okay, yeah. they ain't got no choice. I know the the little kids, like my kindergartner, they uh, let them say uh, they need a mask break, so they let them take Hell, their mask I off a, mask a little break. bit so they can breathe. I take a mass break. You didn't hear the news? You got a mass break coming up next week. Oh, my oh, God. Yeah. You got a mass break next week? Will Chara Abbott said Texas has enough. Stop calling that man enough. that. Stop calling you know that what? Man so I'm sick of him. Because as soon as somebody as soon as some, as soon as somebody called the Houston mayor Black Slide. Here you go, man. Hey, you be mad. Hey, stop calling that man that. It's, not, it's, it's always okay until somebody do it to us. Don't do that. I'm keeping my mask on. Don't do that. I ain't somebody say Black, black Slide out of Houston. And brown, oh and brown God, Lena, and brown Lena. Is, when did you become the voice of fucking reason? Listen, I'm the army. I'm the army podcast network QC. Everybody knows that. I'm oh, damn near HR. Oh, right shit. That's why I came in to sit in with y'all. Shit. Make sure y'all don't break none of our bylines. We don't got to cut y'all off. We cut y'all long. Y'all see what I'm saying? Oh. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> Never. Oh, okay. Okay. Hey, hey. He really talking oh, to me. Yep. Yeah. I looked over there when he I said it. He really talking to me. I looked I over there when I said what I said. I said. Uh huh. Wheelchair uh-huh. Abbott. Oh, jeez. I've been, been getting my um, what you call it? Wait. What they call what? Your no. sensitivity training? Nah, nah, nah. nah. <laughs> that too. But Your immunity. Nah, like, you know when the rappers be oh. when they gotta have they when they. Politicking and your music, your media training. Yeah, media training. Yeah. That's what it is. I've been working on my media training, okay, y'all. Good, so good, good, I've good. been looking up the white words to say and <laughs> what words night to say. So you know. Okay, so that segues yeah. into something, but I have to go run outside real quick and get my treats. Y'all can keep talking about Abbott, Governor Abbott. I won't say it. No, nah, I don't want to keep talking about Governor yes. Abbott. Hey. I gotta go get my treats Wait, real quick. All right, hey, go. I gotta go too. Okay, we're gonna get hey, your treats. Yeah. Hey, y'all, hey, real quick. Yeah. Well, no, just to, just say I said, hey, go on. Do okay, your thing. okay, I'll be back. I'll be back. So, so you've been getting in. You you did a little public relations training. And yeah, yeah. Ready I, to join I've been up doing that. I've been okay. trying to get myself together, but because we ain't been recording, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I've been it's like, lo- well, the thing is, I mean, honestly. And we, I'm, I'm gonna say this while she out of the room. Mars versus Venus has been kind of taking over Clubhouse. Y'all been one of the three of y'all been in there nah, every night. Nah. No, no, no. On the real. low, y'all kept it. Y'all kept Mars versus Venus going. Y'all should be sharp still. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't I'm think so. I'm feeling it. Though. I think it's just the studio vibe that got me feeling. You know, but I'm, I feel good now. That I'm yeah, here. that's that's what I miss, bro. Like, cause not being in the studio and actually not being able to record, but I was kind of like in a dark space. Yeah, yeah, it's therapeutic. Because right. it's like when I come in here, I can just get my shit off and then I'm just fucking with y'all. And, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We actually talking about shit so I can actually right. express right. shit, get it off my chest. But not being able to do that, mm-hmm. like that shit was sitting on my chest yeah. heavy. Yeah. I mean, because even in the midst of like pandemic stuff, there was still a bunch of other things going on in the world Thanks. that would have been super topics. Especially for y'all show, a lot of relationship yeah, yeah, stuff. You don't know a how many just, times we just, we right, done text right, each other right, like, yeah. "Oh, I wish we was in the studio mm-hmm. right now because something was going on." But I mean, shit, y'all back now. So then we mean, got a camera we don't know how to use. So <laughs> DJ, I'm gonna need your help. You gonna have to teach me how to work that whole. <laughs> oh, we gotta find a charger because we don't even know what charger to use. Oh, battery, God. like it's crazy. Everything cut out. That's probably your headphones. You might have kicked the box because we still oh, rolling. Okay. So y'all keep talking. Okay. But yeah, other than that, bro, I just just trying to get my mental together, bro. That's it. Yeah. Trying to be a better me. Working on the family. That's making, good. Making sure the fam straight. Cause yeah, you got a bunch of heads in that house, so I know you. You yeah. might need it. Uh, yeah, you might. Need it. Yeah. You and both, then, both, and, the both of y'all. I mean, and, I just and say, then yeah. my my girls are like they really growing up now. Like they they like we twelve thirteen. Yeah, oh, they so. about to start syncing up too. Oh, it's okay. Be rough no, 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 nah. that's already happened. Oh, Lord. my God, it's not happening, bro. <sighs> that's crazy. That'd be a crazy time right in the house. It's just whew. you got to get a hotel for that week. <laughs> but daddy, got, daddy, work offshore this week. <laughs> I don't but, know what y'all doing. How your mental been, baby? Let everybody know how your mental. Ooh, been. I've been great actually mentally. Um, actually, when when Rona started, I that's how I started therapy, y'all. That's good. I started going to therapy, and it helped a lot. I had uh actually got 
six free sessions through my job. Oh shit! So y'all take advantage of that. It's uh, that's crazy. Most jobs have it. It's called an EAP, mm-hmm. Employee Assistance Program, and most of the time they offer you free sessions. I and mean, I got six of them, and I just you know I stay with it. Have you yeah. noticed a change? <laughs> Shout out! Have Thank you noticed you. like a change in anything since you started, or um, oh, because well, you've only went to one, or you? No, I've been I've, going a while. Yeah, I went for a while. I went for like from March to like the end of July. Oh wow! I was still going, and yeah, I mean, like I recommend it. It's like people like skeptical. Like I was skeptical because I kept right. saying, "I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go." Never did. So when I found out about those free sessions, I was like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. That's a bet. And yeah, if you if you skeptical, go do it. Move towards it. Cause it definitely helped me. And I just been in a great mental state. What I miss. She's telling about? us how she just started therapy. Yeah. And then oh, I was yeah. and then I said how We between... actually got the same therapist. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm saying between I'm the three of the show a check up on how our mentals are. Yeah. Oh, okay. So how has your mental been? Um, In the midst of all this conflict and turmoil? Much better since December. December, I really realized what anxiety was. When I found out I was positive for, um, I'm sorry, y'all, I'm out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> I just ran to go get my shit and come back. But oh yeah, Crystal said that's for your birthday. Thank you, Crystal. Give her her shout out at shout High out End Crystal. Eatery. Delicious treats, if you know what I mean. Okay. She got but, food um, too, though. She, yeah, she, she had food. She, she just food delivered too. my tacos for Taco Tuesday. Hey, and so it's Don't in worry there. about it. It's in there. It's in there. It's, it's in, in there. there. And she just delivered me a mango lemonade. So I might pass that around before we leave. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But um, my mental is actually much better since December. December, I was a nutcase. I could not sleep at all because I was scared to sleep. You know, when you watch the internet and you see, okay, motherfuckers find out they got in and three days later they dead. I'm like, bitch, I'm not going to bed. Yeah. I'm up in a room like this. <laughs> Refusing to bitch, go to sleep. Bitch, you are not going to get me, Rona. I am staying up. Like, I could not sleep, but I slept during the day. But I think it was easier because it wasn't nighttime. Like, it, it don't make no sense. But... Some in your mind. Make yeah. It, like, she was scared of the boogeyman. Yeah. I <laughs> thought that motherfucker was coming for me. <laughs> like, the bitch was at my ankles. I'm like, No. But it was weird um, going through it. I My personal experience was like it just attacked what was weaker on me on my body as far as my immune system. So it was all in my head like I had a headache. Um, I'm still out of breath. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> you just got to catch like yourself. Get the gym. Get back to it. Fuck. Um, oh, shit. Hold on. Okay, yeah, um, I couldn't really smell. I could taste, but I didn't have a taste for anything because I couldn't smell it, and, like, I'm attracted to food. So the aromas <laughs> is what, <laughs> like, attracts me to it. Like, I have to be able to smell my shit. But, yeah, um, but I'm doing better. Like, I'm able to travel. Like, once I got that negative test results, I was like, okay. Let's go. More precautions, though. <laughs> like, stay the fuck away from me. Yeah. Yeah. So we like super germaphobes anyways. Yeah. Especially this one. My God. Horrible. So Shit, need more like you. Yeah. <laughs> people out here head first. Yeah. Why are you looking what, confused? What's wrong with me being a germaphobe? I, it's not that you're a germaphobe. I don't anything was wrong with it. The OCD of it all. What's wrong with that? It's a lot. Oh, my God. Because I like to be clean. Before we got here, Terry was pouring her a drink in the kitchen. And she spilled it a little bit. And she was like. Let me hurry up and clean this up before he comes down here. <laughs> that's how nerd, like, Cause that's... You, cause you, so, so you just want to fuck that man and counters up? No, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. His, 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 hold hold on. on. <laughs> so then I, come, I know how to clean up after myself, I came but... downstairs and she was cleaning up and she was like... <laughs> I was like, why you got this stupid ass face on? I'm like, cause you called me. Like when you catch your kids doing somebody's face. Oh, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> when I heard him come down, I was like, fuck, he's coming. And I, he went the other way, so I'm like, cool, maybe we, I got to it look. Is. It's horrible. You have to. like the, And then he, we cleaned it up ourselves. He went behind us and exactly. wiped that hole down twice. Sure did. Ain't hey. nothing wrong with that. Ain't we, nothing wrong with we that. Two the, more times. We sprayed the pond salt and Come everything. On, I sprayed bro. it on everything that I wiped. Yeah, hey, 
I ain't no dirty ass nigga. Okay. I, I like we to get that. But you just see me wipe. We was literally going back and forth wiping that hoe. Then you going to go behind us because he didn't trust us. And do the same shit. Well, and man, do the same thing. It's, it's not well, because hey. he doesn't trust you. It's a, It got to be wiped a certain amount of times. You know what I'm oh saying? Oh, my God. You might have just got it so you couldn't see it no more. It might have still been a residue. Yeah. No, been I sprayed the stuff that he uses. And she, I wiped it and she wiped it. We both were going back and forth wiping it. Third I, time's a charm. Exactly. No, that was the sixth. Hey. She wiped it's it six twice divisible by and three. I wiped it twice. It's six divisible by three. Oh, my God. And oh, he yes. goes... Yes, that's yeah. crazy. That has nothing to do with that. Y'all not math. finna try to jump on me because I'm a clean ass nigga, all right? <laughs> what <laughs> else? Nigga. Did y'all discuss like what we've been working on while we've been away on our personal aspects no, we... of it all? But well, no. since y'all used up all y'all's PTO in the beginning of this of this contract, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was telling them, I was telling them while you was gone how y'all couldn't get in the studio, which y'all were holding a certain phone app down. Y'all was at least one of y'all was on there every night Chatty talking house. about nothing. Chatty house. Chatty house. So that's what I call it. Chatty Mathis, house. Mathis, you was on a clubhouse for a week and yeah. just said fuck it. Yeah. I was done. A good week. I'm done. over it too, though. I gave him a taste. I'm over it at this point. Oh, I point. haven't been on in like a month. It's like it, it, it did exactly what I said it was gonna do. It's Got ghetto. Ghetto, oversaturated. <laughs> oh, yeah. Everybody it's, it's is a big ghetto. boss now because they have that green bean. I'm over it. <laughs> What is the green bean? The little the moderator, <laughs> the moderator thing. Oh, uh, yeah! You just the motherfucker that can either bring people up or kick them out or block them. And that's you're God in that room, though. Everybody, that's playing. like the okay. <laughs> it's so not that. Deep. Look at it like this: we in a club. I'm this is I'm in this. I'm in I'm in demo VIP. Mm-hmm. I'm by the rope. If, yeah. If I don't tell you, you can come in. Don't I'm worry coming about the fuck in. I'm get. Wow. I'm getting the fuck in there. Not if I, not if me and my green bean How don't say so. How you think all the ghetto people got in there because they found a way to get in? There. Everybody st- and then them invites. Bro, everybody was like throwing gold. invites. Huh? I'm don't sitting on like five of them right now. Me too. Me too. I, I haven't seen one I'm out, not sharing Same. one I have of not them. Seen one out what yet. is the point? But I'm I not heard, gonna be on there. I heard there was something where like if someone that you had invited. It's like vampires. If somebody that you had invited gets uh-huh. something to get fucked up, you, everybody from that chain. Exactly. What? Yeah, that's why I wasn't inviting nobody, yeah. though. Like the originals? Right. So it'll go back. So if like if I kill your progeny, your yeah. whole line die. Yeah. Damn. Okay, so if you've never watched the originals, guys. <laughs> Break it down to them. <laughs> um, so if you're like the beginning um, vampire and you start a line, if you kill the head vampire, the entire line dies. And so basically, that's what they're saying on Clubhouse. Get the head the body fall. You fuck it up, everybody get fucked up. Oh, no. Mm. Well, it makes yeah. me think that somebody black had a hand in it. I just hope that somebody black had a hand in it somewhere because that's some shit like, all right, bet. One of y'all fuck up, all y'all getting a whoop. Yeah. All of them. Everybody. Everybody. Don't nobody want to say I what don't happened? I don't think so, bro, because I be, I be sitting in them townhouse, townhouse meetings sometimes and it's nothing but people in well, there. Well, I don't... I, I will say on the... <laughs> <laughs> on the idea end, not maybe the actual okay nuts okay. and bolts of it. End. Yeah, we'll say that. Oh my god, I'm just over it. It's the moan rooms for me. <laughs> oh boy, the moan. The rooms. Then, they have, then they got everybody. They were literally having contest of people in their moaning, men and women both. Oh, and the person with the best moan won money. They were giving out money for moaning in a room. Full of strangers. Then they got niggas in there trying to <laughs> trying to out dick niggas like what? Yeah, like <laughs> it was. They can't. They oh, and, say, and, and cash you, you cash up a bitch a certain amount of money. Yeah. Oh, I'm finna up you and send her like nigga. You Just stupid. Dumb. You dumb. And the bitches over there. Oh, you send me. And they love oh, yeah. you. They be like, oh, oh, like, oh you, you send her twelve hundred. I'm about to send her fifteen. Dummy. Like, are you dumb? Yeah. Y'all just paid this bitch. And then red the women. For a it's of it's one that the women do where if a dude come in there, if mm-hmm. he don't cash out, he pick one of the girls to cash out. Mm-hmm. He get kicked out if he don't cash pick a girl to cash out. It's a, what? It's a strip club, bro. They pimping. It's oh. a ghetto strip club. <laughs> They because they call you out on the microphone in the ghetto strip club. Oh, they man. calling you out like, "Hey, who you picking? Who you picking? <laughs> Send that nigga to the ghoulie. Yeah. <laughs> Send him to the dirt. Stop. Put that nigga in the Put dirt. Put that nigga in the dirt. Yeah." I'm that's bro. terrifying. I'm, I'm about to delete that app off my phone. <laughs> <laughs> but that's horrible. Ridiculous. They really down here doing that? Yeah. yeah. I literally sat on there and listened to a Did girl get, get like $10,000. You ain't getting the money? No, I was just in the audience. I didn't mm. go up. Should have went up. I'm not 
not ten thousand for nobody. <laughs> I mean, not in a, and not at club house. <laughs> for <laughs> <Matt Damon. laughs> You're gonna be in the mom room, Matt Dropping Damon. a hammer pick for five. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> wait, that is the last thing I need is for an alert What's to tell me. Mathis is talking in Moan Room I'm, 54. I'm dropping, I'm dropping Monero on five. I'm about to find Mathis. out I'm worthy in this motherfucker. Oh, my God. 5G, 5G tax free? Mathis. And I'm putting that shit on uh I'm putting that shit on the transactions on the on the pull on the pull down where you don't gotta pay the 10% of it. I'm, I work for my 5G. It's already coming. I know it's gonna be here. Bank of America Mathis. move fast. I'm getting that shit tomorrow. See what I'm saying? Mathis. <laughs> you got me bent. Mathis. What? You gonna be in there, mom. You better use what you got to get what you want, goddamn. <laughs> y'all stay broke if y'all want to. I'm in here making this free money. This is all right now. crazy. Listen, bro. Mathis oh my in a God. whole nother. Mathis. But you know why he fuck with them? Get, get so, your money, daddy. Get your money. That don't look like us. I'm gonna be on the sideline. Do this. Listen. Do bro, this. I need a manager. <laughs> What's up? I need yeah, a manager. I need my percentage. <laughs> <laughs> I cut you 15 off the five, baby. Ooh, don't worry about come that. come on. Don't worry about that. Daddy got you. We're going we're gonna to make this money together. Let's go. We're going to split them and get them. Mm-hmm. All 2021. I like it when y'all talking numbers now. <laughs> numbers. <laughs> numbers. Okay, we were talking about what the hell we've been doing. We didn't got caught up with Clubhouse. Okay, so me personally, I'm working on a lipstick line. Oh. Lips popping. So y'all already know that's coming. Is that the I'm, name of it? No. It's called Forbidden Kisses. Ooh. So it, yeah, it definitely has a like, like a little that. runchy. Yeah. It has a runchy. Like my first little layout, I have some crazy shit. They gonna be like, this bitch is crazy. Yeah. I was proud of her, but okay. yeah, it's I already have the shit. In, we got the y'all stuff. know I love red lips, so that's gonna be my main color, of course. And I just want to say I've been involved in the creative process. Yes, so she's trying the product. Mm, okay. I've had the gloss I'm on. Here. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> was that yeah. supposed to be a smack bitch? Like, it yeah, was, but like it didn't come it. out right. Uh. I'm sorry. <laughs> really? Cut that part. No, nah, there's no cuts. Shit. <laughs> no. Nah. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm working on. I'm trying to I, hopefully by my birthday. That'll okay. be a good birthday gift to myself to have it released by my birthday. Launch your line on your birthday? Yes. Okay. Um, and then I'm launching a YouTube. Ew. Get out That's of what the money is. I'm already, I'm already subscribed. Thank you. Do you I'm, mind do you mind dropping the name of your YouTube? So it's that just your talks listeners? with Tara Lynn. It's okay. gonna be Girl Talk, Get Ready With Me, Horror Travel talk. Vlogs. Just, you know, normal, simple shit. I'm not a beauty expert, so I'm not gonna be doing that shit. Right. <laughs> but you know. So just, have you been keeping up like Behind the scenes stuff from these trips you've been taking. Oh, of course, I always okay. got footage. So you got something. Okay. Always got the footage. Always got the footage. I like that. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's what I've been working on. What about you, Key? Um. So okay. Mm-hmm. I just I just said about my cookbook. Oh, you, you talked about that. I missed it. I'm working on my cookbook. Okay. And be this girl. I'm trying to be finished with my cookbook by my birthday. Before my birthday, mm-hmm. which is in December. Mm-hmm. Sagittarius M. Yeah. Also, Keys Creations. Yes. Um, oh, the orders. They've they been, been rolling in. Yeah, because I, got, I got a couple of like really big orders coming yeah. up too. What are y'all creating over there? Oh, everything. So I do like custom uh, smoke rolling accessories, tra- rolling mm-hmm. trays, jewelry trays, Fragrance trays, ashtrays, mm-hmm. grinders, like everything. Anything Stash you think jars. of. I'm going to start doing cups soon. Yeah, so that's you where know, money is. The yeah. custom cups, the Yetis and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, just, just you, you know, my creative. I, I stopped cooking. Cause, Sad day. Play, you know, play into the role. I, I cook, my but brother's I don't stomach cook. was hurt when I, when I found out that she was being creative and stopped cooking. No. Yes, I'm everybody like, has heard about it. I had everybody a call knows the boudin like balls and the I egg hear, rolls. I hear, what a boudin balls? What a boudin? What a egg rolls? Yes, them egg rolls. Nah, I'm bro, taking a just, break, you guys. Like, just, like, I still cook, but I don't shit. cater anymore right now. Like, for now. Whatever she Maybe do, after she the cookbook day. Whatever she, she think about, bro, she it. stick her mind to it and then she yeah. just yeah. attack that shit. Yeah, so I true. turn our bedroom into like my little sanctuary, work my area. office, my work area. Trays everywhere. And shout out to you because you just being so supportive of my habits. I have like... That nigga be in his own world. You know, <laughs> I, I, I've been doing it. I've been doing it. So 
Keys Creations. That's uh that's what I'm doing. And and I'm I'm still Chef Key, but you know. To take, the family. Taking a step back a little bit. Yeah. That's what's up. Mm-hmm. What you got going on, brother? I ain't got nothing much going on. Uh, <laughs> That's yeah. when you supposed to come in and I say, man, it. I'm just supporting my queen over here, brother. I'm just, yeah. Hey, I'm doing that too, but I'm working on my clothing line right now. Yeah. So, okay, so. That's something. KSO yes. clothing, but our focus is on her right now. She the priority. Uh, Letting her shine. Okay. Yeah. Because you know I've been getting on your ass too. She really pushing me to do my shit first, so. So she don't she don't want to be the only one working. You yeah, gotta, yeah. If she if she follow her dream, you need to follow your own dream. She's not gonna right. let you sit still while she go ahead. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, if y'all ain't the man, I swear. I the one thing I hate about the On You podcast that mm-hmm. is all these goddamn happy couples we surround ourselves with. <laughs> our, our, cha- our chairman and CEO and the Miss Chairman and CEO, they know they stay happy. They know I can't stand them in the same room for five minutes too long together. <laughs> they don't kind of lovey dovey couples. I mean, y'all just, it's, it's, so, it's beautiful to they see y'all. Cute. It's beautiful. It's beautiful to see y'all. They be cute on IG. I hate this shit. They do be cute on IG. They so like, look at fucking DJ. They, every time they put something up. <laughs> so, hey, do you hear how the single people God, look at the bitch? He love me. He love me. Look at this bag he look got me, Look how this nigga raising his daughter. Y'all look know what he did. They just be sleep cuddling and shit. I'm like, my oh. baby don't even like me like that no more. As a person in a relationship. It's all hooking up on him. My daughter be talking about daddy. I'm going to go sit in my room and watch TV. Girl, ain't no TV on we gonna sit in there and watch the tablet. I got a whole movie Listen, playing. We have the most haters. I'm watching Adam's oh family. We are not haters. We're okay? not haters. We're not haters. We are like a little bit jealous. No, she's not talking about y'all, bro. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm about to say we're not. Haters. I'm like, I'm not a hater. I recognize beauty when it's I see it. It's, it's amazing. It's very it's beautiful. Amazing. It's amazing. I just want it already. Like, come on, I'm over it. Yeah. Fucking 33. Fuck. Yeah. Damn, she dropped the age <laughs> on y'all. Shit, what the fuck I got a lot for? I'm 33, I'm single, I'm yellow bone, 5'7, brown eyes. <laughs> Look at what the therapy make a bitch do. Hey, Look at what the therapy make I a like bitch do. I like long walk. I love the beach, okay? I love music. Um, I like tequila and Hennessy. <laughs> what else? Hey, Nigga. man, you need, to, you need to go. I like traveling. Sound like you, you need learn. to go speed dating. I mean, we can do it. <laughs> I mean, speaking of, that might be something that, you know, your network might be working on here if you ask Please, the right people at the right time. Please, take some pictures, get Please. some professional Saha pictures taken. Look. We, Saha we can look. figure because something Because I not only want to host, I want to be a part. But I got to be at the first table. The first table. The first table? Hell yeah. Well, yeah, because I mean, if I mean, since you're talking about the speed dating thing, and I know uh-huh. that y'all have a lot of single listeners in, in y'all's Mars versus Venus Galaxy, mm-hmm. the Omu podcast is actually sponsoring speed dating at our sponsor, Catalaya Hookah Lounge. When is this? Um, that is coming soon. Okay. And you will find out the day about that. Um, also, TBD. I, go, <laughs> I will go ahead and drop on y'all's people right now because y'all know I love to plug. Okay. Um, March 14th is going to uh-huh. be the second Up and Smoke Catalaya Hookah Lounge comedy show hosted okay. by myself. Oh, so, we got to go. What, drop that date again? March, March 14th. 14th. Okay. Sunday after next. Okay. You come oh, to, I can do a Sunday. We can do a Sunday. The second Catalaya Hookah Lounge comedy show hosted by me. The last time was great. We had a bunch of great comedians, great crowd. They have a good drink. Drink hey, specials. We food. coming as BYO. That's what I'm saying. Come on in. We mm. got that going. I'm going to be um, cute. The girls are going to be there. <laughs> President account. <laughs> President and accountable. President and accountable. The girls are gotta be there. You can't miss them. They're always. They're always there. You you roll three (laughs) deep all the time. Of course. You can't get no two seater. They ain't gonna let you buy that. The fuck. When they get, you get pulled over driving a two-seater. There's three of y'all in this motherfucker. Somebody gotta get out. We'll (laughs) be there. We'll be there. Okay. But yeah. What else was oh shit, what the fuck? Um, let's get into the craziness of the topics of lately. Um, most recent. T.I. and Tiny and the sex allegations. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> look at here. You crackers not going to Bill Clinton, my nigga T.I. Oh, man. come on, That's DJ. Take your bro. mask off. They can't hear you. You can't hear me? Yeah. You crackers yeah. is not going to Bill oh, Cosby, my word. nigga T.I., bro. Yeah. Y'all not going to do He's that. They're shit, doing bro. it. He <laughs> lost his marble it's check. It's, it's gone. Now. Sorry they took that. the Marvel check, they bro. They took you know the Marvel check. You know what that means? <laughs> That's Disney, though. They had to do it because they did it to my nigga. Uh, they did it to Johnny yeah. last year, so they it's had to gone. do it to T.I. No more Ant-Man with T.I. T.I.'s not going to be in Ant-Man versus Ant-Man and Wasp yeah. 3, Quantumania. I mean, but his acting isn't good anyway. So. No, he was actually pretty funny was, in Ant-Man. Was, him and Michael Pena were, they were the two funnier dudes. They were hilarious in Ant-Man. So, 
all they're gonna do is just throw another black dude into that spot. And I keep actually it liked them because they were old thieves that turned like yeah, almost. I, I, I've seen the movie. Well, he bitch. was funny. <laughs> like you talking to me like I'm not a. Well, Marvel then King. why would you lie like that? The fuck. The man was pretty funny. I yeah, he lost his like Marvel his check. The Marvel but, bag But, okay, gone. so do you think it's just a matter of bitches didn't get what they want out of the situation and now they turn it? It's T.I. The money didn't dry up. He just had a Disney check to lose. He still got bread. I'm speaking as far as the bitches that are speaking out. Like, I'm do te- you- I'm terrified of this wave in, in music where people are thinking that lyrics are admissible because T.I.'s got a lot of interesting shit from back in the day that could get him into a lot of trouble. Oh. Tons. <laughs> I got a bitch that pulled bitches I mean, like she wanted a crew. been very it's, vocal it's case about clothes right there. bringing bitches and strippers into their bedroom. But he never says anything about letting them leave. Therein lies the problem. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, shouldn't that just be evidence? Hold on, hold on. Please? So, so he got to say, I let them come. Yes. Then I let them leave. Yeah. Well, what? Come, well, uh, come on, in, in Get Loose with Nelly, he okay. did say, uh, got him, uh, what did he say? Uh huh. He said, I never, never, uh, never got charged with anything. He said, uh, Oh, freak by choice, not force. I will never be charged with a rape. If she say no, I'm a let her be. Too many bitches cherish me. So he's t- he's telling on himself that he don't do that. So I think he can beat it. I, d- I understand why he lost the Marvel bag. Yeah, because they're not going to associate themselves with it that. It sucks. It's going to be a fight because they're they going to try to get him. too. Yeah. But I mean, he 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 was just prominently uh, on that uh, hip hop uncovered show. He was mm-hmm. in that a lot. Yeah. So I mean, he's still working. He's not losing bags like that. But yeah, that Disney one is a noticeable bag to drop. Yes. Oh, oh. We're talking about Ti and Tiny. Yeah, and the sex allegations. <laughs> and Matt that said face? that if you bring a bitch in there, you have to announce that you're letting her go. And I I don't believe that's true. Like, why? Because what? you don't want to find yourself here. I don't want people pulling up old podcasts talking about, <laughs> well, he said this, he said that. No. Mm-mm. Why do you have to announce that a bitch has left? So did the, never mind. What? No, <laughs> so I want to know. <laughs> because isn't it evident that the bitch is going to eventually leave? How do you know? You never told her. She could still be in there. You got big old house. Oh, my God. You live back in the hills of Atlanta. Ain't no telling what's going on in Stone Mountain. PR. <laughs> Got to cover all Definitely. the bases. All the bases. You got to cover everything. You never Jesus. know. That's, it's better to it's better to know and not have to guess than guess and I never know. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. As long as I tell you, you'll never have to ask me. Okay. Anywho, Bobby Schmurder's home. Big facts. Congratulations <laughs> to that man. He looks so good. Oh my god. Arms. Keep saying. He was I'm in there relaxed. doing push. I look like up. that if I take this jacket off. <laughs> I'm <Chill out>. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see. I ain't trying to do all that. Let me see. I'm glad he held it down. You know what I'm saying? Did a six piece. Hey, but what's his relationship with the Migos? They were boys back in the day. Yeah, when they they were coming up around the same time. Yeah. So like them old ass videos before like uh, Versace and stuff. They had like songs together and stuff like that. So they've been. Yeah, Versace was in 2013, bro. They've been cooking before that, like a long. He been long in jail time for what? Five, six years. Six years. Six, six years. Yeah. It's 2021. Yeah, that's a long time. Yeah, my boy picked them up off. In the jet. jet with the bitches. <laughs> Ass everywhere. Ooh, right. Nigga got a glowing chain now. Sure, I was sure the conversation was going to stop when we got to the bitches on the plane. <laughs> Good Dent. thing we breezed over that. <laughs> <laughs> Dan took him to Icebox. Good yeah. thing we skated past that topic. What? The bitches on the plane? Yeah. You don't think you should welcome your nigga No, no, no. Home? I never said that. I just figured, I figured you of all women would be upset about the, the women that was Why on. would I be upset about a nigga that's been away for six years coming home to ass? Well, because a lot of the ass didn't look like your ass. I don't have an ass. Exactly. They didn't necessarily either, but they were brighter asses than your ass. Brighter? <laughs> he got picked up on a plane. There go that like, color. Y'all hear that he, shit? There well, he go. I'm, I'm telling you. <laughs> there he go. He got picked up you on a plane. You want that non-melanin ass, he got don't picked you? Up, he got picked up from jail on a plane with four white girls, and the internet was in a fury. I figured you would know this. Oh, I didn't pay attention to that race. I just seen ass. <laughs> Need more like you. <laughs> <laughs> Need Shut more up. like you. I noticed when you went a white woman, though. Who so, said that? Yeah, have you been with a white woman lately, Mathis? <laughs> Two days ago. Your last escapade with a white woman. Two days ago. I've been living my life. What do you mean? I've with been, a white woman? I've been living my life with me. I done tried to beat the snow. 
I've been torn. I went to Corpus and did comedy. You, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm out here just trying to do okay. my thing. I'm trying to make. So you living for you right now? I know me. that's right. I'm about to do some. You did and talk about a clubhouse. How like you're just not ready for it. The bitches will come. I'm just living. I never said that. I just said I'm just living my life. They come. You don't think the bitches will come? I'm just living my life. <laughs> okay. Whatever is for me is gonna be for me. Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what's yeah? What's the next topic? Scroll through the topic list. Um, <laughs> Meek Mill and his Kobe bar. I okay. Can somebody say the bar for me? No, nah, I'm straight. You I don't, don't really. I don't really know the the first part of it. But Mathis, I, what's I know, the bar? You know hold it. On, hold on, hold on, it's, hold on, it's, hold on, hold on. Okay, pull, okay. We can pull it up and actually get it played. But it's it's pull it up and play it. It's a throwaway, very disrespectful line. That doesn't. That shouldn't have been said. It doesn't make any sense. It's not hard. Yeah, the, like the like I said, the first bar didn't really. It doesn't tie it, into it doesn't anything. Tie it's into just anything. yelling it out like it's not. Okay, let's go. You, you found me. He's pulling yeah. it up right yeah, now. Yeah, fuck yeah. you, bitch. Oh, I'm yeah. just asking. <laughs> I love the love on y'all show. I love the love. On it say this show. bitch. I'm fucking always tell me that she love me, but she ain't never showed me. Yeah, and if I ever lacking, I'm going out at my chopper. It'll be another Kobe. What? See? If I'm ever lacking, I'm going out with my chopper. It'll be another Kobe. I'm going out with my chopper helicopter. And okay. Did that mm. need to be said? Is that hard? No. Are we going to put I those mean, are we so put that on t-shirts? He wanted show me to rhyme with something. With Kobe. Kobe. <sighs> yeah, the boy was the the first boy, yeah. Said, even though Kobe was in the boy, bro, like, that nigga was a Kobe he fan. I, I, he didn't, but... It was just a play on words for me, bro. Like, I didn't take it as disrespect. I eat it, 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 cause his daughter and shit. Yeah, like, yeah. But just, I feel like he a rapper, bro. He just playing with words like any but other. See, rapper he's do. talking about chopper as in gun. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But like, what, Kobe ain't down with y'all, no chopper. Y'all, right. these niggas so ain't, there's no correlation at all, bro. They didn't stop fucking with Wayne and. The Emmett Till line. Emmett Till line. He got a, He got blowback from that. So he, this, he did. But they, he really but they did. didn't they stop fucking him. Right now, to this day on the radio, they don't even. They like screw shit that part. They don't. They didn't do Rick Ross like that when he was saying Emmett Till. He did the. He did all of that shit on the song. Nobody they, stopped but fucking But they got Rick on Ross. his ass about that pill line. Yeah, that's the pill line, not the Emmett Till line. <laughs> Bar. What, what was his Emmett Till line? You gonna make me go look it up? Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> I sure am. Cause what what was Wayne's Emmett Till line? Beat the pussy Be- up like Emmett Till. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, yeah. No, mm, look at that lyrical miracle. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> Move over. <Ray. laughs> what are you talking about? This is not. <laughs> this... Wow. Y'all know that man love talking about vagina. They still. I mean, they still edit out time to get paid, blow up like the world trade. Anytime they play Biggie, so I mean, oh. there's some things that there are yeah. things that rappers say. I there mean, are, the, you know, the world trade has blown up more than once. People, if you do your research, it, it was bombed in. 93 yes. and then everything it's knows the that first in time. But still, it's some things that you don't need to say. Mm. This this Kobe line did not need to be said. Yeah, it didn't need to be said. It's too song. Because to to me, that wasn't even his song. That's a guest verse. So it, if I'm the rapper whose song it was, you fuck my song up. Now that song okay. gonna come I don't even know if that verse is going to even... I mean, that part is going to even be on the song now. Not no like, more. Oh, no. Of course not. Yeah. Not that he... Uh, Vanessa then said something about it. But that brings me to our next topic. But I'm going to wait till you find this line. You need some more time. Internet is really bad in here. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, on Mute Podcast Network does not have bad internet. Oh, go to the next topic. This I'll is not y'all right internet. Up. But anywho, um, that brings me to asking, are we sensitive now? Are we just too overly sensitive nowadays? Or do we take things more seriously now? Sensitive. I definitely think it's... People are way more sensitive nowadays than... Well, how we what we grew up in? Yeah, that, like go ahead, use my first. No, no, go, go ahead. Want to cut him off. Are you straight? Yeah. <laughs> you oh, okay. No, I'm like, go ahead. Well, because no, I found the thing. Um, okay. So uh, Rick Ross's line says, "Paper chasing, standing still is a fucking disaster." Emmett Till, cement, cement shoes, can I live? My Marin do. Penal system come to the source. Benzino of C notes. Okay. It doesn't. He just said Emmett Till in the song. It doesn't, okay, so yeah, doesn't, that wasn't nothing disrespectful right. towards Emmett Till. Yeah. So I can understand why that one is still there, but, but beat the pussy up like Emmett Till, yeah. Well, 
old. Put Molly all under champagne. She didn't even know it. Took her yeah. home and enjoyed yeah. that. She yeah, know they it. was on that his ass. ass. Will forever be one. something you should not say. Forever. And it still is on the song. It is. And, but they was on his ass it's for that bad. one. He it's did bad. take the heat for that. But um, I really think this generation, Generation Z, X, Y, whatever the fuck, is very overly sensitive. The fucking they're taking Mister away from Mister Potato Head. Yeah. I'm fucking done. It's just potato head. So now. why'd you just but say like Mr. He, potato Head? Because it's Mr. Fucking Potato Head. No, it's Potato Head. That's who the head. fuck I grew up with, and that's who I'm gonna call his motherfucking ass. If it but, come but, with a motherfucking, but they, but but they there's had a, a Mrs. Mrs. Potato, potato Head, head as well. exactly. So they're taking the gender away. Mm-hmm. So it's now non-gender binary or whatever the fuck. It's just Potato Head, bitch. You ain't even a gender no more. I am a motherfucking gender. These big ass titties and this pussy. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Look. Well, technically. <laughs> Mr. Potato Head. He's interchangeable he no anyway. Penis. He don't have a penis. He's How do you a potato. know? It might be under hold the potato skin. No. You on. never had a Mr. Potato Head as a kid. Yeah. That don't, don't have nothing. Enough. All you do is change the, the legs, thing, the mask, the right. hat, the arms. The only thing that is distinguishes him as a mister is that mustache. I'm about yeah. to say, so are they taking the mustache off the mister? No. Too? They're basically taking the mister and the mistress oh, from no. Potato Head. No, nah, they pussy for that. Dumb. <laughs> it's just stupid. She just called Hasbro pussy. It's fucking stupid. There goes that deal. Sorry, Transformers. We ain't gonna never talk to y'all. And what's going on? I would love to talk to y'all, though. She called Hasbro pussy. God damn. But it's really stupid. Like, I'm over it. Like, I feel like everything does not have to be... um. Like, overly looked into, like, the Dr. Seuss books that they're pulling. They're pulling six of them. They're not producing those anymore yeah. because they said it was racist. But I want to know what What's was the racist. Six books? So, if I ran to the zoo, this one is one. Mm-hmm. What's racist about this? You tell me, Mathis. There, well, actually, uh, Theodore, Theodore Tice was uh, was a member of my fraternity, so I can definitely speak on this. Okay, he go was ahead. He was a racist fuck. Like, people don't like him. Okay. Uh, but <laughs> these these books are, it's the same reason that they're pulling, like, old cartoons or old episodes of TV shows. It's something that, so it can look proactive, so it can look like the world's changing. Just like what y'all were talking about earlier. Mm-hmm. The world is not that much more sensitive. They're just, you'll hear more people who feel the same way. So it sounds like everything's louder now. So something that offends one person, that one person can find 5,000 more people who sound like them. So it sounds like a bunch of people are being offended. It sounds like a bunch of people are being hurt. But yeah. these people are all over the world from all over the place. But they're all under the same comment section. So it looks like, damn, everybody think that. Ooh, so I really be friends. trying to stay right. out of there. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I try to stay out of comment stations. Because yeah, it, they used to be bad, but now they're just ridiculous. Yeah. But scrambled eggs, what's racist about the title in the book? I mean the the picture. These are like instances within the stories of like they they describe this that way or say it's just like it was basically describing black people. No, but it can be construed as such. Mm. So, so it's not technically in the title; it's in the storyline, right? So it's not it's not that it's not that the books themselves are insensitive like, or racist. What? It's the fact that people can read them and be like, "Well, I'm offended by this," and if one person says it, here come everybody else who want to. Y'all are sensitive. Everybody this shit sensitive. been over. For a thousand years, Dr. Seuss has been around. Like, what the fuck? Really? I don't think it's been a thousand years. I'm <laughs> exaggerating. I'm really exaggerating. But you know what I'm saying? Like, this is just too overly sensitive. Like, I can't. I'm over it. Everything, they wouldn't have survived. Like, when you watch Martin now, some shit that they say on Martin, I'm like, they still they, playing yeah. it. Yeah, bro. But, a lot of stuff on those old shows. Martin used like, to say like yeah. fag or punk, and Martin would say punk. They didn't say yeah, fag on well, Martin. punk. Listen here, punk. Yeah, yeah, like, but now you say punk in the show, like, oh my god, they're using slurs against Cancel. the LGBT community. Turn the show off. Like, I'm done. The, I'm the, over it. The entire the one of the produce the main producer, damn near the creator, one of the co creators of Martin, Bentley Evans. Hmm. Whose character, anytime he plays it, would never fly on a television show today. And his character is the Almond Brown dude. Oh. So the Almond Brown dude is one of the like creative heads behind yes. Martin. There's no way. Yeah, Billy Evans, he's a comedian. I didn't know that. Writer, this nigga Mathis is the fact check. Yes. Dude, there's no way. <laughs> he knows everything. There is no way that you can have a character roll up somebody on the show and be like, I wrote a song about you, Almond Brown. <laughs> to well, another dude. Almond Brown. There's no way that that's happening in the 2021. No. But yeah, shout out to Billy Evans. But even him having created that character, because that's his like yeah. brainchild. He know he was like, yeah, there's no way in shit I'd be able to oh do this now. Oh my god. Yeah. So I mean, the, the like Kings of Comedy, that shit is like so raw. Yeah, but I mean, look, uh, you have to look at it like this. The, 
Oh, never. <laughs> with those, whole with the, about the nephew? Milk oh, and cookies is over with. <laughs> Milk and cookies would have had him so canceled. Milk and cookies would have had him canceled. Punching his wife because she won't hurry up and catch a nut is getting him canceled. <laughs> Um, I told your little punk ass brother yeah. when he came up that's getting canceled. Okay, y'all don't got them. They don't get yeah. good. You can't yell at kids, bro. But I mean, you have to look at it like this. Archie yeah. Bunker was saying, Archie Bunker has like three or four episodes of All in the Family where he called George Jefferson a nigga. Yeah. There's no way that like you're going to turn on the Connors on ABC and they ain't going to be calling somebody a nigga. Like, a, ni- a nigger, not a nigga. He, Archie I'm Bunker so glad we grew up when we then. grew up because I wouldn't be able to deal being so sensitive nowadays. Shit, good These times would have got canceled. Oh, my God. Because they would have said James was an abuser. Because yeah. when they were scared of daddy whooping they us. They were scared. <laughs> that belt. They, yeah. call, they call cap and bullying now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can't even call you about ima- nobody. Could you no imagine a, a, a bus ride? Man, I'm fine. I was still fine. <laughs> your stupid ass up. I bitch, you gonna cry too, old bitch ass. <laughs> exactly. Oh, my God. And the fake come with it. <laughs> That's hard. How you get beat up, talked about, and you got to go on the way to school. Now you got to be at school all day after you yeah. done got your ass beat. Then you going to get fired up on the way home. Don't, don't go to lunch. Please don't. Don't go to lunch. Mm-mm. Um, Kids would kill themselves now and get ranked. They are. Though. They that's are. The point. They're, they're killing that's, themselves. That's now. childish. Grow the fuck up. Fight. You, are you, you calling can't suicide? Say that. You can't say. You can't no, say suicide is childish. What? <laughs> like, I'm saying. See, see, even I know that one. <laughs> Look at that. Please, <laughs> Brian Casamigos. I've been drinking. Okay, oh, listen. God. I'm drinking before I'm the show. I'm not saying suicide is child- childish. Rest in peace to all the lost angels that killed themselves to bullying. But I feel like Called a suicide we hotline. had to, you better go your ass out there and beat that ass. Like kids and now, you they're beat too... ass while I beat your yes, ass. Yes. Like talk now about they're, them. They're, talk back talk about back. them. Talk back. Do like, something. Something like they're not doing anything now, and then granted, the motherfucking school is not doing anything. So yeah, we used to take shit in our own hands. Fuck um, going to the principal. I'm not gonna keep going to the principal time. This motherfucker keep talking about me. What so am I gonna bitch, tell for? That's, that, that's, that's, that's Wait, where the snitching came in. Like that's why you got a generation full of principal. <laughs> I'm not telling this them generation. Shit. Is, that's why you got a generation full of people who don't call police. Exactly because we grew up not being able to tell nobody. You're supposed to be able to handle your own shit by yourself. There goes the childhood trauma. It's real. Mental illness. Because we didn't tell the principal. That's why I don't call the motherfucking police. I don't give a damn. You're a woman. It's mm-hmm. different. You're supposed to. But some women don't. Uh, yeah, they don't. Well, it's a good percentage. And then the of men us do, and they still get in trouble. I'm gonna call them. Yeah, I'm After gonna I'm call them because I can call the laws for her hitting me. And I'm up. Yeah. Because she can say such and such. As soon as they walk in the door, if she say he hit me or he if he did anything to her, it don't matter what she did. That's why you got to call so police sorry. before he do. No, it don't matter who <laughs> called the police. I really don't. I'm going to beat his ass. See? We got it on we wax, got brother. It on wax. We got it on wax, brother. <laughs> yes. I got you. Yes. See? Damn it. All they got to do is come back to this episode. Episode 55. <laughs> I'm the one with the bruises. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's she walk around the house giving herself the fear. Yeah. She ain't doing the thing. You feel your shit on with soap and shit. Now, I'm not doing that. Bitch, baby. You baby. Slam your arm again. I don't do that. I don't do none of that. I'm just like that. I'm just like skin. I'm just like skin. This is true. Hey. I don't know that. Hey. I swear to God, she can do this and her shit will bruise up. No, for real. I will I literally bump into something and I'll be bruised the next day. Jeez. So, no, it's like... It, I, I'll be like, where this bruise came from? It's horrible. All the time. In my sleep, following somebody. I think he be beating me in my sleep, too. Wow. <laughs> you know, Jesus. you might wow. want to put a camera. Wow. I am. Check that. I am. I'm going to put a camera. That. That's crazy. So I mean, wait, why? So, why? So now, now I'll beat you Why be waking up feeling like this? Why don't you wake up when I hit you? <laughs> I be sleep. Oh, okay. I sleep my, hard. My point exactly. It's if I'm be, oh if I'm bruising God. you that, why are you not waking hard. up? You don't sleep that damn hard. Yes, I do. Bitch, if so, I feel like somebody punching on me. He exactly. be doing something you jumping me. up. I'm getting the fuck up. He be doing something. Whooping now, the ass with the pillows. What if, what if wow. you got that? What is it? The sleep pair? Uh, what is it? You sleepwalk? No, not when you sleep while sleep, sleep paralysis. Yes. Oh my God. Why somebody told me when I was younger that's the devil riding your back? <laughs> that's a demon? Because that's what people say they see when that shit happens. Oh, you can't get out. You ain't never tried to get out that shit. And then you can't I've panic. What? I've never had You've never had sleep paralysis? I never have. You that probably is just the most <laughs> freaky ish. It's like you're up. You can't come out of it. You're up, but you can't, you can't move. You can't do nothing. Like, what? you really can't even open your eyes, honestly. Never. 
That shit is weird. Like I mean, you're... you got the devil in you, hoes. <laughs> <laughs> no, like it's real. Look it up. I'm telling you, the I'm shit is real. Thing. You don't want to experience that shit. So how awesome. many times have you done this? I've several. Had, no, not you several. Too? But I've experienced I've it enough to know that that ain't some shit you want to experience all the time. So it's it, scary as fuck. So it's like a like you literally are laying in bed. You see your soul coming out. You just like no. Oh. It's just like you, imagine. Like, say when you get up in the morning, your eyes wake up, you up. Mm -hmm. But say you up, but, like, your eyes not opening, you can't move. But you just but said you, I'm up. like, you feel like you are up. Okay, so, wait, I felt something like that before, but it wasn't sleep paralysis. I was in surgery. And I could feel, I, I felt like I was up. I could feel me being in surgery and yeah. them doing stuff to me, but, like, I, I couldn't feel it, but I was, like, up. That's, that's exactly how and I And I feel felt pressure. See, but I ain't never felt it in surgery, but it's it's kind of it like, like that. Like, you know you're there, but you can't move. You can't turn over. Like, if you wanted to get up and pee, like, you're fucking done. So, like, for me, I just have to calm myself down and try to force myself. I think I had like then, how it felt when I was in surgery, I don't want to feel that, that shit, shit because I was so up. weird. Like, I was, they was cutting, cutting me open and shit. And I was like, up. I like, and you trying to talk, you can't say nothing. That shit is scary. Oh, no, no. Mm -mm. And then when you telling me that's the motherfucking devil on my back, bitch, I'm already freaking <laughs> out. Oh, my God. I'm about to die. I'm about to go to hell. He's about to take me. <laughs> <laughs> He's about to take me. My God. But, yeah. Um, Let's see. Oh, have y'all watched the U.S. versus Billie Holiday? Man, I ain't going to even lie to you, bro. We ain't had time to watch nothing. really You haven't nothing. met this? You have not watched it? No, we we actually just did uh last week we did DMC, the uh, divisive movie critiques. So okay. also on Omni That's Podcast. Another Omni Podcast yes. Yes. Yeah. So we did um American Skin, One Night in Miami, and uh Judas and the Black Judas, Messiah. Yeah. Okay. So I haven't had time to sit down and watch it. Like, Judas and the Black Speaking Messiah that, was really good. It was amazing. I it haven't was watched very that yet. Good. But what did y'all think about the song? What song? With Nipsey, With Nipsey and Jay Z. And Jay -Z? Amazing. I I enjoyed it. I heard it was supposed to be a Ross verse on there. There's there's some mythical Ross verse floating around somewhere that's supposed to be on that song. Mm. I don't think it would have been bad. Uh, I would like to hear. The song was great without him. The song. beat would have been that much better. Embraced yeah, it. Like yeah. Ross would have snapped shit. on that shit. Because that beat would have been right up his alley. Yes, yeah. that's yeah. his shit. The you beat is me? perfect for Ross. Mm -hmm. That would have worked. Feeling. Yeah. The Come movie on. is and really good. And this is good. what it feels like. I was mad at uh, Pussy. Not, it was Hit Boy and fuck, I can't remember. Somewhere in the middle of the album, but they flip high five, spread my wings at like the end of a song. They switch up and go into that beat, and that shit was. Okay, I, see, I gotta listen to the whole. Album. I love mm. that song, and the way that they flipped that to make a whole new beat and do like the end of that song was amazing. Okay, I'm gonna so listen to that. So y'all keep talking, I'll find it for us. Okay, I'm gonna listen to that. Um, but yeah, Judas and the Black Messiah was really good. I was really. Like on edge the whole movie. Okay, don't no, don't give us too much. We're gonna watch it this weekend. Hey, y'all need to watch the U.S. versus Billy Holiday. Okay. Really, 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 really good. And we plan on watching um coming to America yeah, too. So that's all. We that's have right. a, when they come out. Uh, we having a watch party. Oh, I'm gonna get my free membership for thirty days. I'm gonna watch that and then I'm gonna remove it. So we'll be prepared when we come on. You know the next the next round, and we have yeah. we'll be ready for all these reviews because we yes. be done, we be done watch the movies by then. Okay, yeah. cool. Okay, well we'll come to that ring a ding ding. Um, let's get on music. music. Ooh, yeah. What are you guys listening to? Um, right now Jasmine Sullivan Hotels gets wow. a play just, every day. Yeah, every day. Let's just talk about it. L let's talk. Y'all go ahead. I'm she, gonna sit, I'm gonna sit this one out. Why? Because I, I haven't heard it. So Jasmine many men. Sullivan Hotel. I've never seen so many men. I haven't heard they it. Yet. Talk they love it. They love it. We talk about it's being the man in the room. Mm hmm. Men talk about Jasmine Sullivan every time she comes out. This album is no excuse. Oh my this, god. I mean, this album is no exception. So good. This album is great because think about it like this. I'm thinking. Mm hmm. Okay, so. <clears throat> Everything a rapper talks about when they get on and I fuck the pussy up, I eat the pussy, I fuck the bitch, I do the little mm -hmm. change. Yeah. yeah. Jasmine Sullivan did the female version of this. Yes, she, she did. She, she sung a rap album in the in the terms of like yes. vulgarity, in the terms of there's a 
And it's something everybody can relate this to. This is a, dir- a direct quote from this album is if he's freaky, I'll pay his rent. Yes, sir. Where you at, baby? I'm here. Where you at? I told you. I'm Jazz, top- man. I'm chopping the head. Look. I'm here. Slut him out. Slut me out, man. Slut him out. Slut out. me out. I'm Should trying to get food. The bitch said she don't give a fuck. He had his mama house. He's still a motherfucking king. Slut him out. Still. Slut me out. Yeah. What's up? Snatch I'm that dropping. soul and spit it back. What? Please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know Matt is going to do it. He already <laughs> fucking on Chatty House. I love it. 10 bands. Drop it I love on. it. <laughs> listen, oh, my God. You, you, listen, seeing the request for 10, I give it to you for five. Favorite song on an album is Sit On It. I bet it is. It yes, is. it is. It's such a beautiful song. It is. Just, oh, my God. Just talks about how a man makes you feel. Just but Just only if you deserve it, nigga. I ain't doing all of this for no half ass shit. You know, show me why you deserve it and I'm going to spit on it. That's what that's what the song said. I thought you said sit on it. And spit. That's oh, okay. what the song said. <laughs> oh. Listen to the song. She sit and spit. Sit and spit. Sounds like you. <laughs> Whichever way you want it to come first. <laughs> if he deserve it. Okay. Like you said. Exactly. But yeah, very, very great album. The um and well not the intros, the inner lubes introduced mm-hmm. each song perfectly. Yeah. I loved it. Yeah, I loved to it. it. Great got, job, Jasmine. On the You're definitely yeah. in the top they ten for even, the year. They don't even do them hoes on albums no more. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There don't be no kind of skits, no name, man. What happened to that? Mm. You know what? I don't even want to talk about like the music it. no more, man. I love skits. It's me pissing too. me off with all this <laughs> rap crap. I mean, that's really Just, the only good thing that's recently released this year that I've listened to. I mean, any other big albums that released? No. Nah, I, I don't know. Nobody. I know, I know Currency about to drop. <laughs> don't listen to him. I'm sorry. Oh, um, he already did. I'm, I'm late. Excuse, late. excuse me, you're podcast. Late. I'm late. <laughs> <laughs> you're <laughs> late. Yeah. Um, I mean, Jim Jones and Harry Fraud put out something. Who? Jim Jones and Harry Fraud. Who is who? Harry Fraud? Harry Fraud is a producer who is amazing. I know. I thought yeah. it was at home. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know we, we got our fit. music shit, but you know. I'm trying to think. I've was never been a fan of Jimmy. Really? Never. Like, he was the weakest member in Dipset to me. I don't know about that. Oh. Freddie Gibbs re-released Bandana with like 95 songs on it. Oh, no, he put out instrumentals, extra ones. Can we go remixes. back to the 15 songs, Max? I can't do the 20 and 35 songs on one CD anymore. And then y'all are released you know, on the same you, day you now. You know why they do that, though? Because they're only making two minute ass songs. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Music don't, right. bro, they don't give you three three sixteens on songs no more, bro. Like, Trash. songs used to be five, six minutes. That's true. Them hoes is. A minute to fifty to the first minute used to be just the beginning of the song itself. Exactly, just the melody. Like they ain't, they ain't flaming you up on tracks like that no more. They give you that little quick. I I I I get you out of the next song. I'm interested to see what Cardi is gonna drop. Yeah, you waiting on the Drake album? You I'm definitely are. waiting yeah. on Drake because he got that heart. So we're gonna sure. be in our motherfucking feelings. I'm ready. That's one. The ready heart for. is in the head. You know, he got his beard and shit. He broke his leg. We're going to hear about that. Yeah, I'm interested. Broke my leg <laughs> like it was your heart. Yeah. The nigga's going to talk about his broken leg. What else? Who else? Yeah, I'm interested in Cardi. Um, I'm waiting on seven. I haven't... I don't know if what I heard this weekend was that new song it's with her. It's a new her. single. Or yeah. her Chris Brown. I yeah. don't really like it. What? I like what? it. I, I like have to go back and listen lot. to it. I don't. I'm not sure if that's what I heard because I was like, "Is that the song?" And nobody responded to me, so I just. But what I did hear, oh, I didn't no. like. That song was hard. Like, okay, like I'm gonna it. go back and listen. I'm gonna go back and listen. So, but yeah, I am interested in her. I'm interested in seeing what Migos is supposed to drop. <laughs> Y'all don't listen to Migos. I'm fine. You talking about the Migos? <laughs> the Migos. The Migos. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah, I want to see what they gonna drop. It took two years off. I'm gonna see what they got. Yeah. They, they, they should have some stories to tell between all three of them. Yeah, by now. Because they've been living sure. lives. We Story really lives. not getting no Kendrick to next year. Uh, we, I haven't heard anything about um, that. I'm going to hit him up in his DM and find out for you, bitch. I need like, some Kendrick. <laughs> I really need fuck? some Kendrick in my life. <laughs> That's what you no, said. No, I like. think... Um, <laughs> Who is who is the um dude over Top Dog? He said something about it in Top Clubhouse. Dog? Who's his the dude name over <laughs> Top Dog? Oh wait, his <laughs> name is Top Dog. Yes. Top Dog Entertainment. Oh. That's what TD stands for. 
and I love them, and punch? I don't even know. Oh, okay, okay, I'm sorry. You said my punch. I'm sorry. See, <laughs> see, thank you, thank you, DJ, because they was gonna make me be the blonde that I am yep. around this motherfucker. TDE punch. Who the fuck is Top Dog? See, Top it dog? is him. He did say some basically that Kendrick ain't, ain't. Well, he no, he said soon. I don't know, Kendrick. Come on, I can't. Damn is. <laughs> They yeah. dragging everybody. Like, come on. But the give thing us something. is, if I ran a label, why would I drop right now? Scissor, I need Scissor to come on. She didn't drop the good days. She, and, yeah, and she, can the, give you this, she can give you this one piece for y'all to eat on until y'all tired of eating on it. She can give you another one. So when this album come out, you only gonna skip two tracks because you're gonna be ready for the other seven. So yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> that's business. That's but, beautiful business plan. But you don't really skip scissor, like even not skip it, but yeah. songs that you know already. So yeah, you, no, it, I'm yeah. gonna play all them hoes because her shit is always a storyline as well. But yeah, we'll see what those people do. Those people. Yeah. Um. Let's see. What else? They all over there and they come. Um, we waiting on I you. Some, I need some like, Earth Gang. Y'all listen to Earth Gang. Did new I Jid like come out? Earth Gang. Or that yeah. was a song. Jid, I thought Jid, new Jid that came out, but like that might have been just a song. I, I didn't get, I didn't see nothing, bro, because I fuck with Jid too. Earth Gang is dope. Who was Earth Gang? Oh, what? uh, we talk about Bryson Tiller. What? You don't know oh. who Earth Gang is? They signed the Cole, Jermaine Cole. <laughs> Jermaine. Okay, no. Cole. <laughs> like, is that the ones that drink that? Let's say that really crazy song on the album. Wells Fargo. Yeah. Oh, we bought Wells Fargo. Yeah. This song is hard in the bitch, bro. Y'all tripping. What is it? Pass the pass the. What is it? Pass the uh, the rub, the rubbing test. Did you give me my flag? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all are crazy. Y'all listen to that song too much. That song is hard. Nah, that and Lambo Truck are maybe the two best songs bro, on it. Lambo Truck. The first time I sat down and listened oh, to it, I was like, "This that, is insane." Okay, that album. <laughs> that album still gets for played. Me. I, I'm talking about. I play played. it front to back. Yeah, I love that album. Okay. I've been trying to give it a try, and I just had. I know we got. The, I know we got the boss in here. And he don't want to talk about it, but that's still going on my top album list. The next time we do one of those, you're that's biased. Why he he know me. He's Bro. tired of me. He's tired of me putting that, old ass sure. compilations that on my shit. That album <laughs> is a fucking. Don't say and what that. we watched, we <laughs> right. the show. That album is crazy, bro. It yeah. is. This, we watched the show where they was yeah. recording the album. Yeah. Uh-huh. That, oh my god! The and it made me, it made me like it even more. Yeah. Okay. That's the coldest part. Do it. When they play Lambo Truck for Cole in the room, he walked out. He was like, "Nah, I can't listen to the rest of this. I don't want to be here for this. Y'all niggas talking about me, and I'm right here by myself. I gotta go." Oh my god. Okay, so what were you saying about um, Bryson Tiller? Oh, he was um yeah the um the extended version, the extended version, like five songs, five yeah, five, songs. five more songs. Yeah, yeah. That was a really good album. We weren't here to talk about it because it was released last year, but I love that album. Mm-hmm. Played it all the time. All Definitely. Time. Yeah. I didn't hit play on it. I didn't even know. And you not out of no disrespect. I, I just, didn't even know you dropped it. You need to listen album. to it. Okay. Last year? Okay. Anniversary. I think it was like October. I haven't been I haven't been excited was for October. New Tiller in a minute. He he lost He's me so with the, the good. I think the one before this one probably he lost me with that. Damn, so you know Trap the third album? No. Yeah, this Trap is souls. this only anniversary is the second album. Yes. Oh fuck. <laughs> we have. <Okay. laughs> it doesn't oh seem what? like it. it doesn't seem like there's something Nigga in between. Took a whole like what five years off oh, of some shit because of depression. Why. Well, listen, I know the depression is real. So, yeah. so you didn't like trap? Oh, well, no, no, no. no you're I right. Trap trap he soul. did have something in between. Yeah, trap about soul, he and it was horrible. That. And that's when he said like he knew the album was bad, but he was battling depression. So I do know which one okay. you're talking about. Okay, good. Yeah, no, but this one you'll like. Okay, it's really so really this, good. This third album. It's really good. Okay, cool. all right. Yeah. So we don't. Yeah, we don't count the ah, second okay. one. <laughs> second one doesn't count. Yeah, uh, not at all. Plugs I Met Two is coming out in two weeks. Is that a game? It's Benny Benny's album. <laughs> Benny Siegel? <laughs> Benny. Oh. <laughs> Benny but he, Man? Likes, he likes Griselda? Yeah, I got a couple of, couple of their joints. Yeah. Benny couple Man, their, Benny Siegel? <laughs> Who are we talking Benny about? Benny the Butcher. Yes. Oh! <sighs> One of those guys. Did she this, this say Benny Man? She said, at first, she said I Benny, said Benny Man. <laughs> 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 I said, like, hold on. Nobody was asking. Don't, don't disrespect Beans, though. I'm not disrespecting them. I'm oh. asking y'all. He said Benny, and I said which Benny? It's a she lot said of Benny. 
I said, Seagull, man. Can't wait. He said... The butcher. I'm sorry. I'll wait. This Benny. is y'all This motherfucker. I'll here, sit back. What y'all, else? you're judging <laughs> us, Mathis. And what is my name? The judge. Come on. God. Okay. 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 You about to take the price on the gavel up to six. <laughs> Fuck my money. Ooh. Shit. Ooh, spicy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, I wanted to bring this up. I kind of want to ruffle some filth because we just recently went on a girl's trip, right? <laughs> okay. Scared. Why are you looking at me like that? I don't know. And I just really want to know, what do men think go on during a, a girl's trip? It's your podcast. Girls being whores. Oh, my God. It's a fucking girl's trip. I was going to say, oh, shit. But <laughs> a lot of whole shit. A lot of whole shit. Why do you think that? Because that's do what hoes do. And then we're not, and he is Wait, not. And I'm not that. calling y'all hoes. Like you didn't just call me a hoe. Well, you are a hoe. I'm not a hoe. DJ, you heard how fast I snapped on that. He is <laughs> not saying that all women are hoes. <laughs> he is saying that. So let's look at the dynamics of a okay. girl's trip. Let's go. For sake of argument, we're not naming no names. I'm just saying, how many women were on this trip? Six. Yeah. How many six. of them were married? One. Sabo! <laughs> 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 Show's over, guys. <laughs> hey, y'all make sure. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Let's Birds of a ma- feather. What? Okay, so it's either married or not married. That's the only options. So you can't yes. go on a trip with single women. But I'm the, not a woman. But at least two of them, three of them was not single. Just not married. Yeah. D, D, what does my face look like right now? Yeah, single is single. Confused. But, okay. <laughs> like, what are you, I am like, what are you saying? Okay. What did that mean? Okay. What she say is they were committed, but they're not oh, lawfully. At the risk of looking redundant. Uh-huh. <laughs> I am confused. <laughs> okay, well, continue where we, you were okay, saying. So yeah, now you know who was there. Okay. Five was single, one was married. Let's go. What is your thoughts? I think that it was... If this is the trip that I believe it was, seeing what I saw. <laughs> what did you say? What did you say? It was That's some. What I know. It was there was some Jasmine Sullivan album titles going on out there. Wow. I believe he there was. Lied. I believe okay. y'all was getting active. It was the opposite. So the was, opposite. Y'all was knitting and reading the Bible and talking about Jesus? No. Because that's, that's what niggas I, do. You get no. a bunch of niggas in the room. But we went y'all are fucking going lying. Out. Y'all play Madden. Uh, but we went y'all not like, y'all like, blunts. Y'all I, talk about I play ass. Madden. I play Madden. And we, all that good shit. And y'all go to the strip club. We, we talking about too. ass. We wasn't out there what? acting like no slut. We were. What did you think? You see a bunch of women dancing on each other. Okay, you didn't see us around no group of niggas because y'all are smarter than we are. Oh God, y'all are smart enough to say, "Let's take these videos for the niggas get here," and then when the niggas get here, put y'all phones down. Y'all turn into Dave Chappelle. So y'all mind just go to the worst. That's what it is. Y'all stone. You're no. Sure. Sure. You want to go that way? No, because okay, with women, we're we check in. Like you know what I'm saying? Like men don't. No. no. Hell no. No, y'all don't always check in. Let's be honest. Yeah, yeah. Tell and if you do it before you get there, so you can make sure you don't have yeah, to do it once you Y'all there. check in before and after. Bitches is texting you while you drunk. We even called you on the way in the Uber to the next spot. Text, like Texting me what's going on and sending me a picture of you and your friend doing this. Throwing y'all's head back and forth for y'all phone is not checking in. I know oh, that bitch was she left with you. Who else is there? <laughs> Nobody. You Wait, so y'all want us to do a 360? They want the whole room say surveyed. Hey, say hey to baby, y'all. Hey, what's going on, ladies? Y'all having now, fun? Now, see, right, what the be difference safe. is between niggas and bitches is I'm checking everybody's shit if so I'm I can get all kind of angles. Respectfully, if I'm, I'm trying to do that, yo, that nigga be like, I want to see them bitches. <laughs> these hoes off my phone. That's yeah, what he would say. But <laughs> what I'm Fuck saying is, if we phone. really trying to survey the room and see who yeah. else there, we on his page, his friend, we getting angles because y'all ain't all sitting in the same spot. Y'all all like how we are counter cornered and shit. Everybody got a di- different angle of what's going on. Also, if you get that many men in the room, not everybody's going to have their phones out. Oh, God. So, basically, y'all just think the worst. Y'all okay. don't? Again, y'all no. don't? No! All right. 
So if okay, let's ask so you a question. So is it not healthy to have time away from your spouse? Nobody said anything about that. So Where'd why you do you think from? it's niggas there? You think I really no, wanna? No, 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 no. no. Okay. I did not say it was niggas there. Mm-hmm. I said y'all. I said whole shit happened there. It, honestly, it didn't. Honestly. I can honestly say no whole shit the, happened. The whole patrol, no whole shit happened. You know, <laughs> that is and boring. honestly, that's what I was gonna say. Is does that make us boring? Because we really didn't have. You know, some people they go with the mission of hooking up and shit. Like I don't go with that mission when I go out of town. I go out of town to explore the city. You know, see new things, see sights, and have a good fucking time and eat. But you, I don't, you like know if what I meet somebody, I meet somebody, but I ain't gonna fuck them. Like, not with that attitude, <laughs> huh? I don't want to. <laughs> like, I don't know what you have. Like, I barely know you. That is not my goal to fucking nigga. Like, my goal is not, oh, let me get a notch on this belt in this city and that. No. No. Okay. Well, it's good, it's good to know that. So what's that? Two out of six? Oh my yeah. god. Two out of six. So that's what the what so two sixths of y'all are good? What I need so we, you speaking for we're everybody? In sweet rooms. Like our rooms were conjoined. So it's like two of us on this side and the other ones on that side. Like we basically had our own bed. The other girl, her dude stayed there, so they was in a room together. So she wasn't even with us. So it's like So that's not a girl strip. They went on vacation and her no, friends were there. No, he stays there. So like he he was just like he while she was in town, he stayed with her there. But so a, he had to work and shit too. So he wasn't with us the whole time. So weekend. a dude had I'm gonna, I'm gonna get okay, so a dude had out of town box come six deep and he went and chilled with her and then put none of his partners on. So that's a whole ass nigga. Is what I'm hearing with that. Well, because then nobody wasn't nobody looking for no partners. Fuck for. I don't know you niggas. I don't trust and then we was in Atlanta. <laughs> So you don't know who's gay and who's not. I'm not. I'm no, not just, like dead ass. No, for real. No disrespect. I love Atlanta, but like, come on, we in Atlanta too. Ugh. So I'm nigga. I need to really do my background check. But I'm just popping it, busting it up. And you probably just went and fucked your your nigga. <laughs> you <Yummy>. me. <laughs> like no, <sighs> no. Like I think smarter. You do have a head on your shoulder. Yeah, you do. Thank you do. You. <laughs> You do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you do. But yeah, like I'm not just out here on the search. So I don't think it's not as bad as y'all think. I don't okay, so that means it's bad. Worst. It's just not as bad as we think. No. So they, that means something. No. no, what I'm saying is like y'all be thinking the worst. No. The I, absolute oh, worst. Her friend, her friend over there talking to a nigga, I know. No. I so nobody able- talked to anybody. It was just girl peace, love, girl hugs. We were doing each other's nails, fucking watching movies and crying and carrying on, drinking margaritas. No, we wasn't doing no crying. They got yeah. that We were fucked up. We were oh, okay. drinking. We were taking shots. We was mm-hmm. enjoying each other. We was just eating. vibing, smoking, eating a lot. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? He's laughing what? at. Me. He's laughing at me. <laughs> what? 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 What inside ass joke y'all got? I mean, we wasn't eating that. What? What? Okay. Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? What? Erase. Erase. But okay, yeah. What is y'all laughing at? I don't like them awkward ass laughs. Nothing. What's your next topic, baby? Yeah. Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> so what the fuck happened on niggas trips then? Exactly. Niggas don't go on niggas. I never been yes, on one. Yes, y'all do. I've, I've never. Been, I've never been on one. Mm. I've never been on one. Why don't y'all go on? Um, um, Honestly, we don't. Uh, depending like on how, depending I'm on not how trying niggas, to go out with a group of fucking niggas. Depending on how big a, <laughs> how, how tight our group is, we're not trying to go out of town with six of these niggas because. Nick, niggas move different to females. Exactly, bro. Mm-hmm. So like, the thing is, vibe as like, cool as y'all think it is, our vibes between like six six dudes. You put six dudes in two rooms, three fights are going to what happen. What if it's like a bachelor but party But that's trip. the same thing with bitches. We it's, not all six bitches with the same personalities. Right, but y'all females move different than men do. If you get if it's a bachelor party weekend and six dudes go, it's going to be six different rooms. So we're going to go chill in Tony's room while we get ready to drink and go out. I'm going to go sit in my oh, room until we get ready to leave because I ain't trying to fuck with them for another fucking hour before we leave. No. You're not trying to be... It's too that many close calls. That sound boring. That okay. does sound boring. We're boring then. 
Because all y'all do is go gamble and then go drink. Like, yeah, I like and then you probably you're go. Maybe I'm bored too. Because I'm bored too. <laughs> <laughs> that would impress me. What is this? <laughs> hey. Mm-mm. I guess. I think it should be healthy in a relationship. Nobody said it's not. I mean, but you niggas act like it's not. No, we don't. Your women are really good on girls' trips. They don't do much. Oh, Trust no. me. Oh, girl. Oh, girl. Wow. Oh, oh, God. Let the horse speak for <laughs> Let the horse speak. We're really good on, we're really good on girls' we trips. We don't talk to any men. No men allowed. <laughs> me, me, me. Get the fuck out of here. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. It's my homegirl's birthday. We finna leave, though, but this is where we're staying. All right, bet. Uh, that we wasn't didn't do that. that. Oh, you didn't do that. Look, I, she I, didn't look, talk, she I didn't don't do play that, that shit. Now we be inviting random motherfuckers to our room. That, that's our room. That shit. We room together. Yeah, so we don't play that shit. Y'all no. really all room together because y'all room was connected. It mm-hmm. was. Right? It was but connected. Nobody yes. was invited to neither of the connections. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> y'all judging it. Okay. No, we know that. Y'all are really judging it. Nobody's, Nobody's judging, judging you. you. No, are Sounds a little judgy <laughs> to me. Don't got <laughs> Sounds a little judgy to me. Never that. Okay. Y'all got anything else y'all want to discuss? I lost 33 pounds. Oh, by switching to Geico. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, what? <laughs> Bitch, what? Oh, my God. I lost 11 and then I gained it back. So your thanks, Rona. Your plus minus <laughs> is at zero, right? So wash. Uh, it's so wash. definitely a wash. <laughs> Maybe a plus a wash. one. Probably gained twelve. Back. Horrible. <laughs> Probably all that damn eating we did in Atlanta. Oh, so this is recent twelve pounds. No, motherfucker, well, we I didn't gain no damn. <laughs> when we went to Atlanta oh, in, October. in October. Yeah. No, I lost the pounds in December. I probably gained that shit back in January, but I didn't go out of town January. Did I? No. No. But anywho, we're planning a Jamaica trip, so <laughs> anybody? <laughs> Everybody's going to be good girls down there, too. No, it's not this a girl's trip. Couple's trip. This is a couple's trip. But Where I don't are you have... going? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have a man by my birthday. That Speak that. Like... You know what? Let me stop. Speak Yo, that. Don't fucking play with yeah. me, Matthew. <laughs> and I don't need a man to have some. Somebody there with me. Okay. That's a good you idea. Be my trip buddy. That's a good idea. Take your new nigga to Jamaica with a bunch of couples. No, that no. would be weird. Yeah, all right. No, that's ahead. not going to be no weird. You got to bring something familiar. I got to bring something, like familiar. something <laughs> very much so familiar. Yeah. Something that knows me in and out so it won't waste you my time. You want to Jamaica? In and out, huh? Period. <laughs> that's what it sounds like. I can, my passport is good. My passport is good. Oh my God! Rude girl, we don't want you going to tink. Oh, you won't catch the hammer upon the island. Oh, boop boop boop. Guilty. Look at you, got you crying thinking about it. Ooh, okay. Make it cry. Good first night, guys. We big. We'll be back in two weeks. Yeah, okay, Mathis, go ahead and let the people know where they can follow you. Yes. Plug all your shit, Mathis. Yes. Follow me at MJ Owns on all social media. M J O W N S. Let me get my. Catch me March 14th at Catalina Hookah Lounge up in Smoke Comedy. March 26th, Finn Hall Comedy Showcase, both hosted and sets featuring your boy. Uh, All Mute Speed Dating will be soon. Listen to all the All Mute podcasts. We got the All Mute podcast. Mm-hmm. We got the DMC podcast, mm-hmm. Mars versus Venus. Welcome to the neighborhood, y'all. Hey, yo. There go, the, go the neighborhood is y'all's mm-hmm. little thing now. Yeah, so yeah. We got some ladies there. You know, they're going to set us straight on our various shows. You Hello. Know, hey, y'all. Coming and checking shit. Y'all the only ladies? Yeah. Yes. yes. Fuck y'all. We're the first <laughs> ladies of On Mew, okay? So you new whores, you cannot come. You're not welcome. <laughs> you new whores. Not the first it's only us. Y'all are not the first ladies. I'm about to say you're not the first ladies. I mean, ladies. the y'all wives are the first first ladies, but we the first ladies of the network. Y'all are the first on-air personalities. Damn. First lady on-air personalities. Say that. Are okay. we going to get that technical? Yeah. Do the yes. wives get on him? They do from time to time. So you're lucky we're giving you that. We need to have a show. I'm not going to disrespect nobody. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know what trouble I'm going to get in for that? Uh, <laughs> they are the first ladies when it comes to the relationship portion. We are the first ladies of the network. This let's, whole drunk. Let's just be clear. <laughs> Basically. This whole is drunk. Um, what, yes. That's it. This whole drunk. Add MJ Owns, add on you, add on you podcast network, add mm-hmm. DMC pod. Yeah. 
Everywhere you get your podcast. Everywhere. Y'all close y'all show out, man. That's all I got to say about it. Congratulations, y'all. Welcome home. Thank you. It feels it's so an honor to have be y'all. Back. To have y'all. This episode wasn't as y'all bad as I, I thought. I got nervous These for this thing. These hoes was nervous. I was like, bro, we ain't new to this. We true to this shit. Fuck y'all getting nervous for. It kind of reminds Pussy. me of the very first episode because me and Q were extremely drunk that episode, too. <laughs> y'all know I, while we was on break, I was listening to our shit like all the time. Really? Yeah, yeah. I did too. too. I just don't really like playing back my voice. It's just something about that. I just don't. Okay. But anywho, go Weirdo. ahead. You, um, let me see. Y'all can follow your girl on Instagram at Shadi 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 Sh